What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a What Just Happened video of Wrestle Kingdom. We finally got to see Kenny the Cleaner Omega take on the GOAT. Chris Jericho the Alpha right here in an epic match. I enjoyed this match all the way from start to finish and I think both men gave their all. You know, you never, uh, Kenny Omega never fails to impress. Same thing with Chris Jericho. Um, he just, all around, all around, this match was just back and forth. I think all the spots in this match were fantastic. The finish was really good. I like that they uh, told a story the whole time. And I think Chris Jericho was so impressive. Like, to go at his age and keep up with Kenny Omega, one of the best workers in the world, it was just a very nice... Um, thing to see. Um, of course, Chris Jericho is capable. He's one of the greatest of all time, and he proved it again here tonight. Even though he did lose, guys, Kenny Omega did defeat Chris Jericho. He hit him with a one-winged angel on the steel chair to put him away in an epic fight, and I think that was a great ending to the match. Um, at the beginning, one of the cool spots is we had a springboard from Kenny Omega to the announce table. He springboarded all the way from the ring to the announce area. He went through the announce table, and then uh, we had some exchanges back and forth with chairs and monitors and stuff like that. We even lost commentary there for a second because they had uh, destroyed everything right there, and it was just very aggressive. I loved it. You know, Kenny Omega got busted open at one point in the match, and there was also a really awesome spot where... Kenny Omega did a like coup de gras double stomp off some scaffolding. He stepped up a little bit and then did a uh, double stomp to the outside on Chris Jericho, who was holding like an announce table cover over himself, and it was a really nice spot. Um, there was one point in the match where Chris Jericho had Kenny Omega in the walls of Jericho, and Kenny crawls to the corner of the match, lifts up the uh, apron to have, I think it was some hairspray or something like that, and he says, Hey, Jericho. And Jericho turns. And he sprays it right in his face. That was an awesome spot. It was very comical. And then he goes, he proceeds to spray some in his hair, under his pits, and then even in his crotch. And that just, uh, it just proves time and time again that Kenny Omega is the complete package. You know, Vince McMahon wants you to believe that this guy right here is the complete package, but we're not buying it. Um, and don't say I'm a Roman Reigns hater. If you guys follow this channel on the regular, you know that I actually like Roman Reigns. So, uh, you cannot say that. Uh, I actually am a fan of him. I like Roman, but Jesus Christ, when he is just forced down your throat time and time again, it does get old, and Kenny Omega is the complete package. If he were to come over to WWE, I think he would, you know, take down Roman Reigns and everything he has going, and it would be the Kenny Omega show. But, you know, over in New Japan, they, they really do a good job of making wrestling awesome. Like, all the matches are just very detailed. You know, they don't wrestle all the time, so you don't get just force-fed over and over again with content in the same match. You feel like you see the same match a hundred times. That's not the way it is over there. And they just always deliver. And these two guys put on a show tonight. I was very impressed with the entire show. Um, the Fatal 4-Way with Osprey and Skrull was amazing. Fale and Tonga and uh, Lo uh, Loa were, was amazing as well. Even the Bucks, you know, they all look great. Every match on this card I was very impressed with. This is the first time I've ever sat down and watched a New Japan pay-per-view all the way through. And I totally loved it. I have my subscription now, so I will be keeping up with it. Just uh, very, very impressed. Um, I have definitely seen Kenny Omega wrestle many times, so I was not, um, you know, I wasn't surprised when he put on a great show. And the same with Chris Jericho, obviously, one of my favorites of all time. But um, Kenny Omega looked fresh. He had his uh, Pharaoh type entrance, and he had on some black and light blue gear with like some gold trim. And then Chris Jericho, I loved his attire. He had. Uh, he had Alpha on his butt instead of Goat right there in the same font, and it was like a black and purple with like gold sort of mixed in the text, and it was a very sick attire for this matchup. Kenny Omega got busted open in this match, and I definitely recommend going and watching this thing. I know I have uh, given you a few things that happened in this matchup, but you definitely need to go watch it for yourself. If you um, enjoy Chris Jericho, if you enjoy Kenny Omega, if you enjoy wrestling, go watch this matchup. 
And go watch the whole pay-per-view for that matter because this whole thing was amazing and I totally enjoyed it. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Just want to let you guys know what happened. Maybe you woke up to this video and you didn't want to uh, go watch the match. Well, there you go. I pretty much told you everything. Just a very back-and-forth great match between two great workers. Will we see Kenny Omega in the WWE in the future? Who knows? But maybe this is a step towards that. Maybe Jericho can recruit him. But that's going to do it, guys. Subscribe for, for more epic WWE, WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.